Hello everyone, I hope that you're fine and doing great. We've got these two sentences in the whiteboard. You must wake up early. She must be tired now. What do you think is the difference? Benazer Shuma Tafawit Ijumla Dashis. Your Idu Jumla Balahozi Mano Ichi Tafawit Bahamdigador. Okay? So see, when you say you must wake up early, we can get shoot to boyat, shuma boyat. Zud bedor shavin. The inja we have used to must talk about an obligation. Mod inja as kalmi must baroi bayon yak majbur yat is the kardin. The must is used here to talk about or to express an obligation as must baroi bayon yak ijibor is the poda kardin. To majburi ve boyat zud bedor shavin. So you say you must wake up early. Right now, but in the second sentence, when you say she must be tired now, it does not show an obligation. The inji could not match with the nishan or the nashada. But the inja, when you say she must be tired now, you want to say that you are almost sure about something. She must be tired now. You want to say that you are almost sure about something. So when you say she must be tired now, it means that you are almost sure. That she is tired. Maybe you know that maybe she has worked hard or she has been busy all the day. So you say she must be tired now. به همین خاطر شما میگید که او باید خسته باشد حالا. So here شما میخواد بگید که شما در مورد یک چیزی کاملا یا تقریبا مطمئن هستید. Right? So what do we understand from these two sentences? ما از این تو جمله چی میفهمیم؟ Okay. So we understand that we can use must for two purposes. More as well, we must for do do hadaf is the for that. First, use must to talk about an obligation or compulsory. Use must to talk about an obligation or compulsory. As must for a bayon yak majburiyat or ijbar is the for that. Because you should be able to yak nafar majburi ki akara anjom bide. Right. And the second purpose is use must to talk to say that you are almost almost sure about something as must برای زیست بلکن که شما بگید که شما تقریبا در باره یک چیزی مطمئن هستی okay don't forget that if you want to talk about the past you have to use you have to use must like must have plus past participle or the third form of the verb باید داشته باشید که اگر شما میخواید در مورد گذشته هر بزنید یعنی میخواید بگید که یک نفر مجبور بود یا باید یک کار را میکرد شما باید از must have plus past participle استفاده کنید مثلا من میخواید بگیم که تو مجبور بودی که زود از خواب پیدا شدید پس باید بگیم که you must have waken up early you must have woken up early تو باید زود از خواب بیدار می شودی if you want, if, و اگر می خواهیم بگیم که او حتما خسته بوده یا بود یعنی I can say she must have been tired she must have been tired she must have been tired او حتما خسته بوده okay, پس امیدوار هستم که فهمیده باشید که از must برای بیان یک مجبوریت or to talk about something that you are almost sure about okay, that is it if you like the video please like and if you want you can even share my videos to your friends to have more people engaged with the page thank you so much and see you next time